Hello there, my HQTs, and happy Tuesday. I'm here with your delicious afternoon dose of trivia. And in case you didn't know, I'm Sharon Carpenter, your bubbling and troubling presenter at your phone's epicenter, coming to you live from NYC, here with 12 rounds of the good stuff to feed your brains and feed your soul as well, because I know you're hungry. We're going to have some fun today. Oh, yes, we are. Guaranteed. Because this is HQ Trivia, where you use your grey matter to make your pockets a whole lot fatter. And this is season three in full swing. Here's how it works. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 seconds to tap that answer. Get it correct. You move on. Answer all 12 right. You win or split the cash. You'll also be scoring points for every answer you get correct, of course, helping you level up in the game today. We're giving away a plentiful $2,500. That's enough to help your bank account level up as well. And we all need some of that, don't we? Extra lives are awesome. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen. When you use an extra life, you can still play. When you get a question wrong, if you play HQ five days in a row, you will score a life for free. Use it on any round aside from the final one, of course. Now, speaking of free, did you hear about the Jussie Smollett case? He is now free himself, free of charges. Haven't seen him smiling that hard since he's wearing his onesie on Empire. Quite the about face. Now, if you think winning HQ is tricky, no, solving a Rubik's Cube in two minutes or less is tricky. Please welcome Danny, everybody. Hello, Danny. Come on over here. Hi, Danny. Say hi to, to the audience, our HQTs out there. Danny is a Rubik's champ. Well, you hope to be, right? If he can solve this Rubik's Cube. Before we get to question one, I'll give you a clue to question 12. So send me your positive vibes if you want that hint. So okay, here's a jumbled up cube for you. That looks pretty jumbled up right there. How confident are you feeling about this, Danny? Not at all. Not at all? Okay, that's not good. We need more positive vibes in the chat. All right, guys, send them this way. Danny, you have two minutes and 17 seconds on the clock right now. All right, in the meantime, while Danny is working away, do you follow us on Twitter? If not, you might want to start today because things are getting crazy over there. It's HQ Theme Madness, baby. We've got theme bracket polls happening live. We'll Shrek take down Lady Gaga. Will the office prevail over Marvel? It's all up to you. It's HQ Trivia on Twitter and clock in your votes. The winner will have its very own theme night here on HQ. Looking good, looking good. So far, fingers crossed. Now, tomorrow night at 9 p.m., we are bringing back the 100. 100 of you or fewer will win the game. We've got $5,000 in the bag for that one. Do the math. That means whoever wins will be taking home at least $50 cash. And I can't wait for this one. Star Wars is back, baby. For your rebel scum out there, this is for you. How are you fair against the evil empire? AKA me, as Yoda would say, do or do not. There is no try, there is no try, Danny. Okay, you gotta do. That's happening Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Tweet us your pics of you wearing your craziest Star Wars costumes and we may feature you in the show. All right, Danny, we've got 59 seconds left on the clock. You know, I would never distract you, but since you're here, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so me, I am a programmer. I also have a pug. His name is Crembo. Crembo! We love Crembo, one of our office dogs. And he is barking outside as we speak. And there he is right there. Okay, I have a tougher question for you. I'm not trying to distract at all. I don't think I am. This was a question on HQ the other day. How many possible positions do you think there are for a Rubik's Cube? I'll give you a billion dollars if you get that one right. 23 12 seconds. Million. 12 million. 12 million? I made it up. Try 43 quintillion. That sounds like too many. You were completely off. <laughs> but you are getting close. 12 sec 11 seconds. Oh, I don't know if this is looking good, Danny. It's not looking good now. right now. Don't blame me, Danny. It's your own fault. Three, two, one. Woo! Keep on going, Danny. A couple more seconds left. I'm holding out hope for you.
Danny, do you have at least one side done? Like, can you show us one side? No, no. Can I, can I see this cube right now? It's a process. Well done, it's a Danny. Process. It's a well, process and you well done. Okay. All right, just for that, so you don't blame me for distracting him, I'm going to give you the hint anyway for Q12. Jennifer Aniston and Owen Wilson. Well done, Danny. Thank oh. you so much Sorry, for nothing. Man. Okay. All right, everyone, flex those thumbs and get to the tapping. Here's Q1. Who recorded the hit song Purple Rain? Queen, King Cruel, Prince. He was under a lot of pressure right there. He did it last time. Now, if you pick King Cruel, it's my turn to be cruel because you're wrong. The man behind the purple precipitation is Prince, the legendary Prince, of course. 148,000 if you're feeling pretty regal. Prince loved Purple Rain so much, it was the name of his song, album, and movie as well. That could get very confusing. Q2, a famous line associated with Superman is up, up, and what? Up and up and up and up, away, down a little. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? And it's Danny with his Rubik's Cube. If you're tapped on down a little, you've just gone down a lot. There's no stopping the Man of Steel. It's up, up and away. And there you go. 151,000 of you taken off. Superman barely says it in the movies, but in radio, characters had to describe what they were doing. Okay, I'm going to fly now. Didn't quite cut it. Wasn't cool enough. Q. Three, which of these is a coastal state? Tennessee, Kentucky, Mississippi. Means they've got a beach, I like beaches. Need to lay out in the sun. Be a little sun time soon. Three states serving up southern hospitality, but which one will serve you some spotted sea trout too? It's Mississippi, I hope you didn't miss that one. Mississippi is the correct answer here. Certainly isn't Kentucky. No beaches there. 131,000 of you did not miss that one. Mississippi has a shoreline on the Gulf of Mexico, but the state is named after another impressive body of water, the Mississippi River, of course. Q4, coming at you right now. Almost coming up soon. In the meantime, remember, follow us on Twitter at HQ Trivia. But here's Q4. What is this TV show a spin-off of? Give us a It's a spin-off of what? Is it Happy Days? All in the Family, Mary Tyler Moore Show. Used to be the biggest show on television. Way back when. The 70s was a lot more zany thanks to Laverne and Shirley, but where did DeFazio and Feeney first appear on our screens? Hey, it's Happy Days. And you're pretty happy right now, 117,000 of you are. We first met Laverne and Shirley on a double date with Fonzie and Richie, then got eight seasons of them solo, and we loved it. Q5, Portuguese opening is the name of famous what? Harbour, chess move, movie. What on earth is a Portuguese opening? Don't use that in daily conversation. Whatever it is, it's not what it sounds like. A less of a movie, more of a move here is a chess move. Nicely played. If you tapped on chess move, it's not checkmate for you. 100,000 of you got that right. A Portuguese opening is where you get your bishop out earlier than usual to demolish your opponent with those dirty diagonal moves. You know what I'm talking about. Q6. Which of these musicians is a world-renowned fan of horology? John Mayer, Sufjan Stevens, Bruce Springsteen. Do you know what a horology is? Once you figure that out, you should be able to get the next part. He doesn't just croon about exes and co-host HQ. He's also a champion horologist. Watch out now. It's John Mayer. That's who, remember him on HQ? That was a really fun one. 61,000, have you got that correct? That was a brutal one right there. Yeah, it was. Mayor has a bank vault filled with precious timepieces valued at a lot of money, like tens of millions. Now he has no excuse to be late. We're halfway. Q7. What medieval fantasy arcade game ended with the announcement, thy game is over? Warlords, Joust, Gauntlet. 
they all were around at the same time. If you weren't for Warlords, thy game really is over. Entertaining fantasy nerds with flying ostriches is Joust. You are jousting your way towards the win on a flying ostrich. 36,000 of you are another brutal one right there. We lost more than half of you. The object of the game was to defeat enemy knights on buzzards. Ooh, sounds like dangerous stuff. Q8. What unit is defined as the amount of heat needed to raise a pound of water one degree Fahrenheit, BTU, calorie, joule? What do you know about those heat units though? This is why I stay out of the kitchen because I could burn water in for a penny. In for a pound is the BTU. Are you beating the rest? 20,000 of you are. Last half of you again there. BTU stands for British Thermal Unit. You dump the T and you dump the Brits, but you kept the BTUs. Q9. When first completed, the Great Pyramid of Giza was covered in what material? Quartz, limestone, marble. And it was such a sight to see. Saw it with my own eyes. It's one of Egypt's biggest mysteries. The pyramid, that is, not this answer. Cheaper than marble is limestone. It was covered all over in limestone. 20,000 of you knew that. The pyramid was once covered with gleaming white limestone all over till it was recycled to make a bunch of other stuff. Q. 10, we're almost there. The Italian dish whose name translates to jumps in the mouth primarily features what? Venison, mutton, veal. Sounds like that poor animal's still alive. Jumps in the mouth, well three meats that I don't eat, but which one will jump in your mouth rather than mine? Beef from a baby cow. Veal is the answer we were looking for here. 15,000 of you making a meal out of that one. Jumps in the mouth in Italian is salt in bocca, a concoction of sage, prosciutto, and veal. Does look pretty tasty though, doesn't it? The penultimate round is Q11. In mathematical terms, which number is not transcendental? E, square root of two, pi. Remember this in math class? Me neither. I would explain the hows and whys here, but I don't want your brain to explode. Getting to the root of the matter is the square root of Two, 7,503 of you calculated that one awesomely. A transcendental number is a real or complex one that's not algebraic. Get ready for a transcendental experience though, because we are counting down to the final round with 7,503 players left in the game. Another almost 3,000 using extra lives to get back in. We've got $2,500 in the bag right now. Go get the cash players. Q12, which movie features the dog breed, the AKC, currently ranks as America's most popular, the Peanuts movie, Air Bud, Marley and Me. Gave you a helpful hint for this one, remember? Three popular pooches, but who's the best of breed? Snoopy's gone nearly 70 years and five feature films as a beagle. Marley the Labrador Retriever was always a favorite and Air Bud was our buddy. A Golden Retriever is the film starring Jennifer Aniston and Owen Wilson and Marley, Marley and me for the win. We've got 8,335 winners, you smash it. Congratulations to our 8,335 winners. Today you are taking home 30 cents. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, we've got Jacka uh, right there, RJM555. Nice suit, looking clean. Uh, v Cons, uh, Tishri. Well done, you're one HQ, but can you solve a Rubik's Cube in under two minutes though? That's the question. Congratulations, 8,335 winners. That is a nice amount of winners today. Well done, HQTs. As always, you've made me proud. You came, you played, you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me on the socials. Stop by, say hi, 
and don't be shy. And we're back tonight with more trivia for you at 9 p.m. and HQ Words right after, of course, at 9.30 p.m. Do not miss the fun games, cash, and points. Until then, have an awesome rest of your day and see you soon. Thy game is done.